Hello everyone, today I am going to be teaching you how to make checkpoints. So for this checkpoint system, it's not going to be like the Roblox checkpoint thing here, like the this checkpoint thing, but we're going to make it towards if you get, go on a checkpoint and you accidentally got complete a stage in the wrong direction and like you're right here and the start was here and you accidentally uh, went like this and then gone here use normally that the roblox version of the checkpoint will just automatically think that this is the correct checkpoint so it will update the checkpoint to here and that's not what we want in this case we're going to make it towards even if you go the wrong direction it won't count as the checkpoint and yeah so as you can see I have labeled my checkpoints so here is where we're going to spawn and I've named that checkpoint 1 and the next checkpoint we're going to name it checkpoint 2 and then the next one we're going to name it checkpoint 3 and it goes on and on so yeah so now we gotta insert a folder or model I want to do a folder and we can name this checkpoint or checkpoints and then we're going to insert all of our checkpoints in here. Okay, so now that's pretty much all we need for this area. So yeah. So let's now insert a script into server script service. And let's first start by making a leaderboard. So we can do connect function, which is when the player joins the game. Then we can insert a leaderboard and set them up or let's call this leader stats and then we do instance.new let's do a folder and then we put that in player and yeah and then we name it exactly like this so yeah of course we ex we name it exactly like this otherwise it's not gonna work for those beginners who don't know about this but yeah anyways now we have our leader stats we can add in some stuff like okay let's see so we want to add checkpoints so we can add an int let's call this checkpoint equals or checkpoint equals instance dot new and let's make an int value and this is pretty much an integer value any number you put in here must be an integer so what am i doing anyways um okay so we can name this checkpoint checkpoint dot name equals checkpoint or we can call, actually, I want to change it. Let's call it a stage. So, yeah, so we're going to call it stage. Okay, so yeah. So, let's do um, player.character added connect function. Okay, so let's name this character. So, this is when the character response when I want to do something real quick okay yeah that's just to make sure we don't have the force field when we respawn so yeah this is when the character spawns or respawns so yeah then we want to make them teleport to the checkpoint so we're gonna add a wait here otherwise it's not gonna teleport him so yeah so once we add that wait we can do local checkpoint equals let's just do game that works space dot checkpoints checkpoints find first child okay so find first child and then we can do checkpoint and then we can connect the string with the number so we can do dot dot stage dot value okay so this will get the checkpoint the correct checkpoint we are on and then we are going to um, move our character. So we can do character move to. And then we can do checkpoint. So we can do checkpoint that position. So yeah. So I also forgot to make this stage. If I forgot to set the value to one. So we're going to start off as stage one. So here's how it's going to work. So we already have the we already know that the value is going to be set to one, and then when we spawn, the character is going to look for 
the spawn, which is called checkpoint one, and then it's gonna teleport us there. So now we gotta make it towards. Uh, now, now we gotta make it towards um when we touch another checkpoint, then we and if it's the correct checkpoint so, or the next checkpoint, then we will it will count as a checkpoint. So we can just do four I V in pairs. Game dot workspace dot checkpoints. Get children do. Then we can do script dot parents. Wait no, actually we can do um v dot touched connect function, and then we can do hit. So first we want, first we want to make sure it's a player. So we can do local player equals game dot players get player player from character hit dot parent, and we can do if player then. So this means if the player, if we know this is a player, and yeah, so okay, so now we can do if we can do um local local stage equals player dot leader stats and then dot stage and then yeah. So yeah, so if we can do if stage dot wait no actually Okay, so we can do local checkpoint. And this will give us a number of what of what checkpoint we're on. So we can do two number, which will convert a string into a number. So we can do string dot sub, and then we can do um v dot name, and then we can do let's see. So let's count how many letters are in checkpoint. So wait, hold on. Yep, there's ten letters. So we can just do ten, and then we can just do ten, and then hashtag v dot name. So if you do not know what string dot sub is, or if you do not know, if you do not understand what this is. What's pretty much happening is we're pretty much getting the number, and string dot sub uh, um, gets a part of the string. So we get the string, which is our the checkpoint name, and then we get the start of it, which will be right here. And this is ten over here. So yeah, and then we can get the number of letters. So. If we do hashtag to a string, then it will convert it into how many letters are in the string, and yeah. So, actually, I think we do 11 because that way it starts us 11 right here instead of 10, which is T. So, yeah, so, so we can do, and we put in a two number to make sure it's a number. So, we can do if checkpoint. If checkpoint is greater than stage, then so this makes sure if the checkpoint, if the number of the checkpoint is greater than the previous one, then we just do stage dot value equals checkpoint, and I forgot to put in dot value. So there we go. So now let's just test this, and let's see if it works. Okay. Okay, it's loading. Okay, there we go. So we have our stage right here. That works. So, okay. So if we just, um, yeah, if we just do this, yep, and now we're on stage two, as you can see. And yeah, so let's go to the third checkpoint. So, yeah. So, as you can see, it's working. Yeah, and now we're at stage three, as you can see, it's working. And let's see what happens if we try to, um, yeah, let's see what happens if we try to go accidentally go back a stage. And as you can see, nothing happens. And if we reset our character, <coughs> okay, yeah, if we reset our character, it's gonna teleport us to stage three. As you can see, this is working. And yeah, okay, so. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope this helped you a lot, and yeah, and I hope you learned something new and all that stuff, and yeah.
see you guys in the next video and see you guys later. Bye.